So hello everyone. I am Nikensha Kesharwani and I will be talking about trust and safety team at Mercury. So next slide, please. Uh, hello. So I am a software engineer in trust and safety team. Uh, and uh, I joined Mercury in 2019. And at the same time, I moved to Japan from India. Uh, my hobbies include cooking and uh, playing badminton. Uh, nice to meet you all. So next slide, please. Yeah, so today I will be talking about some key things our team works on and how do we ensure safety of a user at Marketplace. So I start. Um, well, can you sell anything at Mercury? Well, uh, not anything. You cannot sell illegal items such as guns, cash, or any other item which creates some violation according to Mercury guidelines. So one of the major things uh, that uh, TNS moderates are items listed uh, by the users as they are key thing for Mercury Marketplace. And we want to ensure safety of our customers and ensure their full trust while using the app. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, what kind of violating contents we do not want you user to create. So here are a few examples. So of course, you do not see illegal items which is prohibited by law like uh, money or medicines. Uh, it's not about obeying the law and there are also rules to protect our customers from trouble. So we do not want customers to use payment methods which are not provided by Mercury. So example, like transfer the money directly to the account of seller instead of going via Mercury. And we also have rules to ensure that our customers can use the marketplace comfortably and do not make offensive comments or messages to each other. There are also rules to protect health of the customer so they do not sell food that is ex closing the expiration date. So these are just few examples of type of violations we are detecting, but there are many other rules. And we detect and delete such contents that we do not want our customers to create and provide feedback to our customers. So by eliminating these risks of various types of violations with efficient monitoring, we are trying to keep the marketplace safe for like, and so everyone can use our services safely. Next slide, please. So there are two types of moderation I'm going to talk about today, mainly it's the listed item moderation, account moderation. So, this, uh, so like I said, item is a key thing. So we are moderating items heavily and which are listed on the app. And we are also doing account moderations for any malicious activities from the user. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so uh, I'll start with uh, item moderation. So why do we need item moderation using some technology in the first place and not just do the manual operation by customer support? So we have 20.4 million monthly active users who are browsing and listing items every uh, listing items. And there are 1.5 million items listed every day. So proactive detection of violations, uh, violating items using technology is necessary before they are visible or to users or purchased by some other user. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, Kai, yeah, thank you. Uh, so there are uh, there are two approaches for item moderation. Uh, we have which is prevention and detection. So first, uh, like this is in the first screen, you can see how the Mercury app looks like when a user is trying to sell an item. So they fill in all the details uh, for the item they want to sell, and then they tap list. So after the tap list, uh, a prevention system kicks in, which uh, checks all the item details entered by user, validates them against some rules. And if it is a, a violation, it sends a warning to the user. If it is not a violation, the listing goes through. And then there is other another sophist more sophisticated system, which is called detection, which kicks in and also uh, again detects uh, other items for violations. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, every time a user is making a new listing or editing some existing listing, before, uh, before the listing gets updated on the app, a rule-based system is triggered, which is used for prevention. So they are, so uh, all the item details are validated against every rule in the system. And then if it is fine, 
it gets through. Otherwise, user gets a warning. And then after testing is complete, uh, there are two systems, rune-based system and machine learning system, which gets triggered. And so these two systems are used for automatic detection. And then the either the item is automatically donated or it is uh, reported further to CS for like further confirmation whether the item was a violation or not. Uh, next slide, please. So apart from rune-based and machine learning-based system, which are doing automatic item detection, we have other systems like operator, so customer support operator reporting the item, or right holders reporting the item, or customer reporting the item. So all these reports are created in a front-end moderation tool we have. So customer support goes through space, uh, all the items reported in this tool. And if the item is actually a violation, it they send a warning to the customer. And after multiple warnings, customer automatically gets restricted so that they do not repeat such violating actions in future. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so this is a brief architecture of uh, very high level architecture picture of how the automatic moderation detection flow works. So a seller item, the call goes through gateway. There's a listing service which is responsible for listing the item. It makes a gRPC call to a rule-based system. And this rule-based, the violation sends the response, sends an alert back to user. If it is not, it's just let the user list the item. After the item is listed, uh, an event is published that the item is created and we have a pub sub here. So this pub sub, uh, the rune-based system and machine learning system both subscribe to this event of item created. And then again, that item is validated against both these system. And if some machine learning model detects a violation, it, it reports a similarly rune-based system. So there's a reporting worker which is responsible for uh, getting all these reports from both the systems and uh, just send the report to the moderation tool. So that was a very brief description about how do we do item moderation. Um, next slide. Uh, next, so we also have some systems which are doing user account moderation. So if some user is making offensive comments to any other user, then CS wants and restricts such user by banning their buy and sell action on the app for some time. So that such activities does not get repeated. Uh, next slide, please. So for a brief overview of account moderation, so apart from all the types of account moderation, majorly we are detecting uh, two types of uh, account, two types of violation for accounts uh, on basis of the user information and user behavior. So once there's the like, first is listing users listing not at hand item. So some users are listing the items they do not have in general, but uh, but then some buyer buy, buys it and then they order from a third party website. So so this actually leads to such certain problems, and uh, we do not want such such activities by users. So we uh, by by observing some past trends or the uh, the user activity, we try to detect uh, such users and automatically hide their items and ban the user. So uh, yeah, so mostly I talk the very brief about account moderation and item moderation that we do in our team. Now let me share a tag, tag stack we use in our team. So as I mentioned before, we have a machine system and a front-end motion system. So I says there is a machine learning service and front-end service. So for back-end service, we are it all written in GoNet using GCP technologies like Spanner, Cloud SQL, et cetera. And for machine learning service, it is written in Python and using scikit-learn library and Kubeflow for modern training. Uh, and the front-end service is written in TypeScript and React. For build and releases in RT, we use Docker, Kubernetes, and Spinnaker. So yeah, that's the tag stack, what we use in our team. Uh, I said next slide, next, next slide, please. So yeah, so that's all I had to share about what TNS team does uh, in like in very high, pic high picture. Uh, and now I've, as we are also hiring, let me share a little bit about what do I enjoy working at uh, Mercury. Uh, 
So we are working on some new technologies and we are a cross-functional team with some opportunities to work on machine learning and front-end as well, interested. And the work culture is great. People are amazing. So, and work-life balance is also good. So these are a few things which I really enjoy while working at Mercury. And it would be great if, uh, Garsan, next slide, please. So it would be great to like to work with people who rise with our mission to create safe marketplace using technology and work together with us to continuously enhance safety and security of Makari marketplace. Uh, next slide, please. So yeah, that's all I had to share for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you.